happy Sunday. I'm standing under the heater vent. I should probably move because that's probably loud. Um, we are getting ready to go on a bike ride. So we're all dressed and ready to go. Uh, we slept in a little bit this morning. That was nice. Woke up at about 7.30. And, and I said that's how you know you're getting old, right? If 7.30 is sleeping in. Um, are you okay, Sherman? You get scared? Did you run him over? I just pulled it in. Hey, buddy. Are you, are you okay? Come here. Sherman's a little nervous boy. My little ray of sunshine, my little golden boy. Bikes make things spooky, so I Um, anyways, yeah, we're gonna go ride our bikes. Some very cute little bird noises this morning. They're, Pete said they're killed deer. Are they, is that the shore bird that you pointed out? Mm -hmm. Oh. Pete loves birds. We just got back from our bike ride, but my watch died. So we weren't able to track how far we went. But I saw the street name where we turned around, so I can look it up on Google Maps to see the miles. I like to see how far we went. It's definitely further than last time. Yeah. And I'm definitely, ooh, I look pretty rough. Definitely getting better at this, or like getting in better shape, because I don't feel as sore as I did last time, even though we went further. So that's good. That's very good. Did you have fun, Pete? I did. Me too. Tired. It's a beautiful day. It really is. So beautiful. Like, I just love the clear blue sky. And again, I overbundled. Last night, though, when I thought I overbundled, I didn't. I was perfectly comfortable. When we were sitting, I was cold, walking around, perfect. But today, I had to shed my sweater and my long sleeves. What are you laughing at? I'm laughing at our cat who is now almost has to like squeeze through the fence post because of like big drop kick. <laughs> Does she have a big belly? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> We're all enjoying some sunshine outside right now. All right, I just looked it up on the map and I think we went about 9.8 miles. That's pretty good. That's definitely the farthest we've gone so far. And it was fun. It's cool to see like new parts of the city and towns and stuff um, from a bike. You see a lot more than you do from the car. So as you just saw, I was outside brushing Mama and I had my knitting out there with me because after I was going to knit, I ended up changing my mind, came back in the house, I just took my knitting out and what the fuck is this on my sock? Bird poop? Are you kidding me? Gross. So I guess I'm gonna go wash that spot and then let it dry and work on this one.
look what Peter did to my Christmas towels. I told him not to wipe anything gross on there and he went and ate Takis and rubbed his fingers on my brand new Christmas towel. I just threw in some laundry because I need to start packing for my trip on Tuesday. Um, I leave very early Tuesday morning, so that means I need to go to bed early tomorrow. Um, so I don't get off work till 6, so I want to make sure that I can just like knit and chill and not have to pack. So making sure all my clothes are clean. I always do laundry before packing so that everything is clean. And then I'll pack up. I'm getting excited. I'm, I'm already feeling exhausted by this trip, but I am getting excited. It's gonna be fun. What you working on? I am working on the SVG file for the um, dog ornaments oh. that we're going to make for our pups. What's gonna go inside? Ink. We're gonna- We're gonna what? We're gonna take their paws and put them on the ink pad, and then we're gonna put their paw on the ornament as though they were criminals, and we're trying to like book them, <laughs> fingerprint you know, them, finger, yeah, <laughs> hoofprint them. I already um, knew this, but it's Pete's idea, and it's really cute. Yeah, Very so cute we're, idea. yeah, so we're, this is the SVG file for the laser cutter. Um, so yeah. So you're, la you're laser cuttering. Laser cuttering. Laser cuttering. cuttering. Laser cutting these ornament shapes out with the names. We're lazing. We're lazing mm -hmm. the shape out with their names and then stamping their paw on, and then we're gonna like seal them somehow. Something. Beeswax yeah, or beeswax, clear coat, varnish, something. something. You know, yeah. yeah. Have fun. confession to make. I did not do my 15 minutes of spinning the last two days, which means I failed on the 100 days of spindle spinning challenge as of day seven. I'm a little disappointed, but it's okay. I just didn't feel like doing it um, two days ago, whatever day that was. What was that? Friday. I was just exhausted and all I wanted to do was knit, and so that's what I did. I'm not gonna make something, make myself do something I don't really feel like doing. Um, yesterday, Saturday, same thing. I had very minimal crafting time, so I just wanted to spend it knitting. Um, you know what? It's okay because I might not have enough time to do it on my, sorry, the toes are so loud on this floor. I might not have enough time to do my stuff, my spinning while I'm on my trip anyways, so it was gonna happen at some point. Um, cause I'm going to be so busy and again, probably I'm just going to want to focus on my socks, if anything. So, oh well, I do feel like spinning now. So that is what I'm going to do.
I just spun three of those pieces that I had just pulled off a second ago. So I've been sitting here for a while and now I'm going to cake all of this up because um, I need to get it off my spindle to take it with me on my trip. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I'll do that tomorrow. I really need to pack for my trip and shower and I don't want to. I was just looking through stuff on Instagram and I found this one account that does like home remodeling, decorating stuff and it was fun to watch and she went, she showed a video where she went to do her pantry and she said that she heard a quote for when you don't want to do something. So the best way to do something you don't want to do is to do it quickly. That still doesn't give me motivation <laughs> to get up and pack or shower, but I'm going to do it anyways. Alright, I did it. I showered. Now I need to fold laundry and pack, so I'm going to do both at the same time. Let's go. Got my suitcase right there. I'm just going to go through all my clothes, figure out what I need, set out what I, what I think I need, fold the rest, and then I like to roll up my clothes to hopefully fit them better in the suitcase because I need to have space for my spindle and some fiber. I have a couple of knitting projects because I'm only going to bring one with me on the plane. And then... Shoes. Yeah, have space for shoes. All right, I'm gonna be gone for six days, so I know this is a lot, but I've got everything laid out. I was only gonna bring one pair of pajama pants, those are my pajamas, but I don't think I can wear the same pants for six days. So I have two pants there. I'm bringing this, this is gonna be cold. This is my Friday night Christmas party outfit. Got some leggings probably for the weekend saturday sunday i'm going to be spending with my family there um this is wednesday's office outfit thursday's office outfit i'll be recycling the pants that i'm wearing tuesday friday's office outfit and then extra undies lots of socks i've got five pairs of handmade socks i've got some tank tops so that i can layer I've got that in case leggings and sports bra in case I get a hair up my ass and decide to go to the gym at the hotel. And then two sweaters to wear in the office. This I'll be wearing, this is my main jacket I'll be wearing on the plane. And then that is my advent, which starts on Wednesday. And then for shoes, these are my Christmas party shoes. I'll be wearing my Uggs to the office and then I need my Burks because I will not walk barefoot in a hotel. So now, can we make it all fit and leave room for this present, my blow dryer, and all my hair stuff, and makeup. And I need to block that, I need to wash that sweater. That least has all day tomorrow to drive. I don't, to dry. I don't leave until Tuesday. Everything's packed and it doesn't zip. I have to take my blow dryer and pillow out. I was just testing, but yeah, this isn't gonna work. I have to narrow it down. So I'm done dealing with my packing. I'm gonna have to reassess tomorrow, but as of right now, I got everything to fit. I had to take a few things out. I can't bring that knit sweater because it takes up so much space. Um, and I don't really love it anyway, so it's fine. Um, now I'm eating some dinner, 
We've got pasta with feta. And I finished my book today. I was reading Holiday Romance by Catherine Walsh, I think. Maybe I'll remember to put the author's name up here. Um, and I'm going to start a new book and it's like related to that one. Not really a series, I don't think, but um, to the characters that are in the book, one of the characters that were in the book I just read, this is their book. So I'm gonna start that. And when I'm done eating, I'm gonna go work on my book journal so that I can write down my thoughts about the one that I just read, which were, I loved it. I like to have my book I like to use my book journal as a place to like write down thoughts as I'm reading it. So I've already wrote like thoughts and reactions. So I've already wrote a bit about this book. So I'm going to do like my overall, this is what I thought. And um, finish like coloring in the words and stuff. And then yeah, that's it. It's already like 7.30. So do that and some knitting and I don't have anything else. And chill. just finished editing yesterday no today's vlogmas um except I need to add this video still and while I was doing that I was um joining the yellow again on this hat and um I'm gonna read here for just a minute and then go to bed it's about 9 15 and Pete's already in bed watching some videos so I'm gonna I'm off to bed myself here in just a minute. I've got a little snuggly kitten next to me. And my big chocolate boy over on the other couch. It's been a great weekend. Such a great weekend. Um, I said earlier I was already feeling exhausted about my trip coming up. That's like, to me, any time spent away from home is exhausting. And this is, you know, traveling, being in the office, socializing. All week I work from home so whenever I have to go and be in the office it's a lot it's a lot of people and we're doing holiday parties and um, it's yeah it's just exhausting and I'm it's almost a whole week but I am excited I'm excited that I get to go be cold like super cold for a week and I was really hoping I was gonna see some snow but I don't think there's snow in Colorado yet um, actually there is I don't think there's snow where I'm going to be, but it'll be fun. And tomorrow I have a busy day, lots of meetings, since um, tomorrow is one of the only days that I could fit meetings in for the week. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be very busy. So I'm gonna head off to bed here soon. I'm glad I got this hat, this last color joined on this hat because I really wanted to get to that spot um, for some easy plain knitting because the blue, the navy blue and the brown, I was doing two strands of fingering held double. And that's a little bit harder for me to knit without looking because I sometimes will only pick up one strand or um, yeah, that kept happening. So I kind of had to pay more attention. So now this is perfect. Okay, good night everybody. I hope you all had a great weekend. See you tomorrow for Monday.